Okay, the first thing I want to tell you about is this little handy calculator called MSP Geotrans 3.7. This is a download website. You can uh, download it from earth-info.ngh.mol slash grand slash geotrans slash. But the link is also in the documentation that goes with the videos. This is the most handy translator, the uh, little calculator that I know of. You can work from about any datum in the world. There's a lot of them, given our own Cape datum. You can use either a geodetic projection or you can use your transverse locator projection, which we are used to. And you can set your central meridian, which can be either 27 or 29 or 17, whatever. False easting, false northing, and then you can convert. Say I want to convert to WGS84 in uh, and again a transverse Mercator system or the universal transverse Mercator projection and uh, a zone. Well, I have to put in a zone, so I say zone 36 and the coordinate, the, 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 the eastings and northings are already in there, so you can convert from upper to lower or convert from lower to upper. What it can also do it can also open a file. Now, files consist of um, okay, files consist of a heading or a header like that, which tells you which projection is on, the datum, in this case code datum, the ellipsoid, which in this instance is uh, Clark 1880, uh, central meridian, the scale factor, everything you need to know, and then the coordinates in Y and X, unfortunately still with the signs reversed like we, uh, we used to the Americans, somehow have not caught on to the fact that we use signs the other way around. Okay, so I did, I made one of these, and what I, and I made another one uh, for the WGS84 coordinates of an actual fact 5 trig beacons in Gauteng. And my idea is that I want to transform or Calculate the Molodensky transformation for Gauteng from WGS84 to, uh, from at least Clark 1880 to WGS84, from the Cape datum to WGS84. And for that I used Excel. So I used my LO27 Cape datum coordinates, well, these five trig beacons, and I used, and I converted them to X, Y, and Z using Geotrans. And then I took the WGS84 coordinates, of also for LO27 in Gauteng, and I converted them to X, Y, Z coordinates. I trans, trans, uh, <laughs> subtracted the Clark 1880 from the WGS84, and I get my DX, DY, DZ, the Molodensky constants for the transformation. And you'll see a little later on, I took the mean there, there your mean, and there's your standard deviation, which is not too bad. Which is a lot better than the standard uh, transformation parameters for the whole country. And we'll see what they look like a little bit later on. Okay, that's uh, Geotrans. As I say, it's a, it's a very, very handy tool. I would suggest you go download it at some stage and play around with it, because it, it's very, very, very handy. Good.